18,000? Very good. Good job. Good. Very good. I appreciate you guys coming over. You came from Opry, is that right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. right. Well, we're all over the country, but we're. I mean, you're, you're, you're congregating. Yeah. <laughs> and we're mainly through the blogs. So we talk about the life just told us death free. Lots so. of frugal blogging. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. That'll work. Sharing your message with millions of people weekly on our blog. So. Cool. Well, thank yeah. you very much. I appreciate it very much. Well, can, anything else I can answer for you or help you with a little bit of content? Or anything we met, so ask any questions. <laughs> Not time to be shy because yeah. the commercial break's almost over. Um, I have a quick question. Okay. Um, we, uh, we paid off all our debt and saved up money so that we can start our own business from cash debt free. Good. And I'm just wondering if you have any suggestions for, for entrepreneurs. Suggestions um, for entrepreneurs? Yeah, just. Um, we, have we have a video, video with they it. just asked that. Yeah, we just we asked that. that. We got a okay. video. Well, that's okay. We'll do it again. I mean, I just. It's okay. The th same thing I said a minute ago, or the thing I said a minute ago was to be sure you go slow. Mm -hmm. And you take your time. The weird thing about spending cash in business is it causes you to be more, like it does in your personal life, it causes you to be more careful. Mm -hmm. But when you're using borrowed money to go with, try this idea, you're kind of sloppy sometimes with that idea. We have a lot of uh, non-fatal failure around here. And you're going to have some non-fatal failure in business. You're going to fall down. Just don't, don't, don't get in a position that you bet everything on one deal where you're bankrupt if that doesn't work. And so many people do that in small business and it ends up being the death knell of the business and sometimes of their personal finances as well. So be willing to just chip away at it, go slow, have the patience to let it get momentum, to let your idea catch fire. And then of course you guys are doing a lot of stuff on the internet and so um, you know the viral concepts and the permission marketing concepts and all those kinds of things really, really do apply. And you know, the internet's weird. Uh, something that worked 18 months ago doesn't work now. When I started, Al Gore hadn't even invented the internet, so it's all great. <laughs> so, I remember when a guy walked in my office one day and said, we needed a podcast, and I said, did we do something wrong? <laughs> you know, nobody had ever done a podcast, and now we're the number one podcast on iTunes in the business section, one hour of the show is. And so, um, you know, just stay with those cutting-edge things, but you don't have to sell out to them, because a lot of things on the internet is, are kind of chic and vogue, but don't monetize initially. Twitter's an example. I mean... Um, it's kind of cool, but monetizing Twitter is an interesting process. And um, our Facebooking stuff, that kind of thing. I mean, you can get there, but if you get to messing with it too much, make it too commercialized, you lose them just like your blogs. And so you got to have content, 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 and um, a little bit of selling. So I'm on the air in about one minute. So thanks, y'all. Thank thanks for coming over. Appreciate getting to meet all of you. Yes, you too.